right, what's up, everybody? So I had a member ask a question. Uh, do I have a new time tutorial? And as I was reading their question, uh, they were more talking about sampling. Okay, so um, I actually haven't really jumped into new time yet. Uh, I just took a quick peek of it since I read this. Uh, but what I'm trying to understand here, well, let's just read through it. So sampler here trying to find a less tedious, reliable way to get chops to the grid. Okay. So essentially this is the question. And so my recommendation is to use slice Okay. So I just built a little drum loop here. I opened up slice six uh, for me where I have it is I have it in my samplers and I have slice six. So wherever you have slice six, open it up. And then I just have a little piano loop here. Okay, that was just me. I just recorded some piano a long time ago. Uh, the recording's a little poor. So what I did was I routed it to uh, just an insert. I put some EQ and some compression on, uh, you know, just kind of quickly. So all I did was I just dragged this loop into Slice 6, okay? Now what you want to do is inside of Slice 6, if you just right click the Slice tool, you have different options for dull, medium, and sharp. I usually just go medium depending on uh, the actual loop I'm working with. You know, each one can sometimes, sometimes you need more slices, sometimes you need less slices. So let's just work with medium and see what it gives us. So again, this is kind of aggressive slicing, uh, but then I just use my MIDI keyboard. Okay. So, and then from here, what I would do is I'm actually just going to create a melody off of my MIDI keyboard. Okay. So when I would hit record, as you can see up here, and if I hit play, I could literally just... So it's just a matter of now finding um, a melody that you like. And if you really want to bring these into your playlist, uh, you can just hold on control, left click, and you can uh, drag right here. And this is actually going to drag uh, the single one in. Okay, so if you want to do it like that, I personally don't recommend working inside of the playlist like that. Like you actually want to make your pattern inside of a pattern and then put that pattern inside of the playlist. Okay, so for example, this is like my drum loop. We'll just hit F2. Use your writing capitals always. So there we go. Give it a color and I'll just hit plus on my number pad. Boom. Okay. So now if I want to uh, make a melody over top of this and just for the time being, let's just add some reverb on. So, okay. It's going to make it a little bit better. If you want to learn about this stuff, just come to my website. It's gratuitous.com. Uh, the course FL Studio Mixer Workflow will break all this stuff down for you. Okay. Uh, so let's just add some more. You know, just again, I do this just for a quick baseline, you know, without it, you know, it's nice and quick, but now here, now it's going to sound more like a song. So again, these chops are kind of quick, you know, I'd have to spend some time going through them, but this is how I would, you know, go about making uh, a beat from sampling. Okay. So sampling again is a different approach to making beats, but. Uh, really, really powerful once you kind of get the hang of it. Um, okay, so let's just go to the very, very first sound. And let's just right click and let's just go to dull. Okay, or oh, sorry, that's just because this is highlighted. So I'm just going to uh, right click and go dull. Okay, so that's not good. Uh, we'll, let's just go. Okay, so again, now this might just be getting a little bit too much again. So let's just try another one here. So this one actually slices perfectly in time, which sometimes isn't what you want because your slice might not be playing on like that on the actual beat. Right. So you're actually pulling in sounds at weird times, uh, whereas that's why I usually like to go like the medium and stuff like that, because it's actually playing the note. So, for example, if I play 10 here, let's just try and find it on my, on my MIDI keyboard. OK, so I um, must be up an octave. Okay, so I'm just going to work my way up the keys. And again, I always like to work with, with my MIDI keyboard. It's by far the easiest way, uh, you know, for sampling and everything. Because you have 49, in my case, I have a 49 key MIDI keyboard. So that means that I have 49 slices that I can work with rather than buying a drum pad, which typically only has 16. So let's just find some notes here. Cool. We'll work with something like that. Okay. And then again, those effects are going to help. So I'm just going to hit uh, stop, just making sure that the, you know, I can see that the markers here, but sometimes, you know, it's over here, right? So I always hit stop, put it to the beginning, going to hit record on my MIDI keyboard. And when I hit, or I also want the metronome on, 
When I hit play, uh, it's going to count us in. I'm on the second pattern, so it's going to record to its own loop uh, inside of the playlist, and we're going to uh, be good to go. Okay, so hit record, hit play, and here we go. So. So one sec, I forgot the note I played, it was 10. Okay, so. So again, this note is too quick. You gotta be a little bit careful with slice six when it comes to, uh, you know, hitting play. Uh, sometimes it's gonna play in here instead of the actual playlist. Uh, so let's just play. Okay, so even though I screwed up, uh, now th this is where, you know, you can just change it inside of your notes, okay? So I'm just going to press Control and Q to quantize that. You know, most of these people who sample don't like quantizing because they want that, you know, that real feel. Uh, but I like to quantize because it makes editing super easy. Okay, so watch if I just hit play. Okay, so instead of six. Okay, so this one's a little bit longer. Uh, maybe we can do seven and then uh, and then go to six quickly or something. Okay, so not cool, uh, but this is going to help you flow a lot better with your slices and using slice six. OK, um, I highly recommend you read the manual. Just click on slice six, hit F1. The help manual will, will come up. Another thing that's really going to help you is in, uh, disabling this auto dump because if auto dump is enabled and if I move a slice, you're going to see that it overwrites what we just did. R watch this. And you're like, what? Right. So if I press con um, control and Z to undo that, if you disable auto dump, you can actually move that slice around and it's not going to send it to your pattern. OK, so sorry for the whack beat. Uh, but hopefully it helps you out. Also, if you are looking for awesome drums, okay, these are by exclusive audio. I have a super awesome discount uh, only for my community. Okay, so you guys can come to itsgratuitous.com, check in the menu there. I have a tab for premium drum kit and, you know, it's it's a featuring exclusive audio sound. So here's like the drums, right? Turn off the metronome. I've used these sounds for almost 10 years now and highly, highly recommend them. So it's uh, actually the bundle. The bundle is called Drum Bundle Trio. You guys can get special pricing through itsgratuitous.com. So I hope this answers your question about, you know, going how, how to go about sampling. And I personally would just use Slicex. You drag your loop in, you come here, you right click, and then just kind of play with the different slices. And then it's just a matter of creating uh, your, you know, your idea inside of a pattern okay so just go to a new pattern make your melody uh, obviously you're going to be making something that sounds better but uh by taking my approach here adding some reverb and stuff like that it just makes it a lot easier okay so hopefully that helps if you're not a member yet and you want to learn fl studio just come to itsgratuitous.com <laughs>